Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Tesla Effect, where last time we searched Mason Bauer's place, found his wife, who had a gun to our head, and also discovered that apparently he had dealings with Rook, specifically over objects of Nikola Tesla origin. So that is where we will go next. Back to Chandler Avenue to talk to Rook and see uh, see what we can find about the artifacts that Mason Bowers may have sold. And see how that dweeb Mojo's doing. Maybe he's decrypted that memory stick. Yeah, about time too. I need a new lead on this case. Oh yeah, and there's also that too. Also, I was floating. Momentarily, it happens. You know, when you arrive in a new destination in real life, and then you're just floating above the ground. Rook, what have you got for me? Uh, we need to talk. Oh, do we have to, really? Yeah, trust me, you may be involved in what happened to me. Oh, the very thought makes me giddy. I knew you'd be pleased to hear that. But it's all tied to items of Nikola Tesla and a man named Mason Bowers. Well, it's true. It's true, I've had some very rare... Tesla items in my possession from time to time, but I have uh, never heard of his uh, Mason Bowers. You know Carlos Maldonado? Well, of course I know that wretched swine. Tell me how he ties into Tesla. Well, Maldonado tried to bribe and threaten me to reveal my source of my Tesla items, but I didn't give it to him, and I won't give it to you. Do you think Maldonado is one watching you? I think so. Oh, my, 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 that could be troublesome. I need to make some inquiries. Uh, is there anything else? Um, yeah, what kind of inquiries do you have to make because of that? Uh, Clint, uh, tell me about him. Like I always say, you can take a bomb out of a dumpster, but you'll never get a dumpster out of a bomb. Is he, is, are you insinuating that Clint is still a garbage person? Is that it, Rook? All right. So not too much of a lead there. Let us talk to Mojo. See if he got his Mojo on. So your memory stick's all ready to go. Now, what do you give me for it? High five? Money? E2, Mojo. What are you talking about? I thought we were partners in anti-crime. You think I'm going to solve your case for free just because you're my idol? Yes. No, the great Tex Murphy wouldn't lift a finger without compensation. Neither will I. All right. Um. New line of work, brass tacks. Um. Well, I was going to offer you a very special junior detective badge. I don't want some stupid little orphan Annie ring. I want a memento from one of your cases. Something one of a kind. A memento. How do I know what's on the memory sticks even worth anything? You know how your cases always have a hundred loose ends and you need that one missing piece to tie it all together? Hmm. <laughs> it's not always like that. This could be that one missing piece. Mr. Murphy, you need this. He's a good salesman. Gotta say that. All right. Fine. Name your price. Do you remember that sicko who was going around with a liquid nitrogen freeze gun, shooting people and then smashing them? The press called him the Nitro Stalker. You got involved and the cops finally found him a few weeks later. Smashed into a million pieces. Um, that was me? I don't even remember the case. You think I did that? Everybody knows you were behind that bit of freeze-dried justice. The freeze gun was never found, and I'm betting you took it. I'll trade you the memory stick straight up for it. I'll see what I can do. Uh, tell me about this freeze gun. Don't know. Never mind. I wonder who'd know about that stupid freeze gun around here. Um, hmm. 
All right, I guess let's just make our way up the neighborhood. Louie. It's real good having you stop in more regular. How can I help you? Uh, freeze gun. You got me there, Moist. All right. Clint? That Clint's really come up in the wild. Though I still hide the chocolate cake when he drops by. I don't want him falling back into his, uh, old ways. That's, that's pretty good of Louie. Like, he realizes, uh, that just seeing chocolate would be enough for Clint to become a chocoholic again. More questions? Why you gotta keep coming back with more questions? Because I got more questions. Can't help you with that. All right. That guy's a go-getter. Why don't you get him to answer these questions? Okay, I'll see what I can do. All right, Rook. Well, if it isn't Mr. Van Winkle. That's what everybody what calls me. I can help you with, Rip? Well, the freeze gun? The one you pawned that supposedly belonged to the Nitro Stalker? I believe it was purchased by one of those vigilante Morlock hunters. Okay. Huh. I don't know if that helps me. All right. Oh, hold on. Rusty's uh, fun place is open. Bell is gone, so Clint is not available. Holly Graham is here. Let's uh, let's ask her. See if hey, Morlock Chris. Hunters has has shown up as an option. Not a clue. Okay, so the Morlock Hunters might be these knights. The Knights Templar. Lord Protectors of the Avenue and Clubhouse. Oh Lord, we beseech thee. Give us strength. Courage. Protection. Hail, fellow countrymen. We are ready to begin our quest. Hunting the dreadful night beast. Make haste. Sorry, Tex, we gotta run. Um well, Sir Larry Curly and Mo. I'll be sure to tell Snow White you're gonna be late for breakfast. Ooh, now this place is cool. Nerdy seventh graders paradise. Yeah, every weapon you'd ever need to be a level 85 World of Warlord chieftain. And when this game came out, I think like LARPers have kind of hit like a like a high in regards to the social knowledge of them. Uh, World of Warcraft had also kind of hit its like big peak back in uh, 2012, 2013. What this key opens. Probably a door. Nope, it opens a refrigerator. A refrigerator for extreme dieters only. All right. Yeah, we got a game of Twisty going. I used to love the game of Twisty until I realized its true sinister purpose. Dun dun dun. Whoa! Better tell Yogi to be on the lookout for these in Jellystone. Ooh, another key. It's a key to a padlock. It's a padlock key. For the roof. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Looks like someone has already helped themselves to the items behind the counter. The half-life of Weenie World Burgers is at least 20 years. Ugh. Um. Back in the Hayes Code days, couples had to sleep in two separate sleeping bags. <laughs> that is a highly specific joke that I get. Gross. No one's ever removed this thing since the incident. Oh, is that the same acid tank that uh, Rusty's in? Good lord. They're LARPers. Dear god. Whoa. I feel like I just missed the Fellowship before they headed off to Mordor. Ah, uh, yeah, they had their soda. 
uh, their Weenie World burgers, and then they uh, they they left. Hey, where are the fun masks? I was promised fun masks. Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Ow! <laughs> All right, let's open up this refrigerator. My God, you know what that is? It's the cup of the carpenter. It's from the Holy Land Toys Collection by Robco. Batteries not included, a $10 value. You know, it's been a while since uh, I've played a, an adventure, or should I say it's been a while since an adventure, a game has come out that has given you solutions that lead you to nothing. Um, like, I, I think of Under a Killing Moon, more specifically, where you get the fish food, and you are like, okay, there's a fish tank. I can feed the fish, and then you feed the fish, and that's it. Nothing happens. Like, what were you expecting? Refrigerator saved half the population during the nuclear fallout of World War III. Luckily, Grandma Murphy had a commercial grade. All right. At least we can climb onto the roof. Our familiar location for previous Tex Murphy games. Oh, there's a doggo. I see they put Rusty's zip line back in place. How convenient. Ah, uh, and thusly, that's where the zip line comes in. Unfortunately, I need a zip line trolley to place on that rope. Unfortunately, the only zip line I have is broken. Do I have uh, something I could use to fix it? No. What happens if you try opening the grate, the gate? Does he just not open it? Nope, he opens it and dies. Well, you're dead. Good thing you saved your game. Wait, you did save your game, right? Because there is no way I'm going through all that again. How very kind of you, video game. All right. Can I use the broken zip line? That was a waste of time. No. Put Rusty's zip line back in place. Not a complete waste of time. I learned that I can't uh, just use the broken zip line. Okay, I need to find a wheel. And slowly climb down this ladder. Now where, oh where? Uh, I probably should climb back up, see if the flashlight will pick up anything. Otherwise, hmm. I'm going to have to start going around and seeing where I could have found a broken piece of zipline wheel. So then, most likely, the wheel would have to be in one of the locations that I've already explored, if I had to guess. Because I'd highly doubt the wheel has become a topic of conversation. Though I suppose I could always just walk into somebody's shop. And talk to them. And just see what pops up. Hey, Mr. Murphy. We can hang out, or you can order something up and melt your face, but... I can't keep that memory stick until you hook me up. Okay. So that's not a topic of conversation. Well, it's not a Banksy. 
Oh, here we go. What's this? That was a lot faster than I was expecting it to be. Well, I, I'm okay with that being way faster than I was expecting it to be. Let's go back to Rusty's fun masks, gags, jokes, balloons, and games. And use the zip line to circumvent the angry pooch. Angry Pooch was too angry. Ah. No way, a freeze gun? This is definitely your coolest case ever. No pun intended. With freeze guns, the puns are always intended. Are you familiar with the work of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Please have mercy. I'm afraid my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. <laughs> I'm gonna find a way to turn you off, I swear. You're not sending me to the cooler. Cool party? Fine, I'm done. Thank God. Now is the time. Allow me to break the ice. Uh, My uh, name is Freeze. Learn it well, for it is the chilling sound of your doom. Let's just get this thing back to Mojo. Ah, uh, the break the ice pun was the one I was thinking of. I guess that leaves me with nothing less than the bat card. Never leave the cave without it. All right, Mojo, let's see that memory stick. And Inspector Burns Barbecue, why are you just employing all these sexy waitresses? You got it, didn't you? Is, is Inspector Didn't Burns Barbecue the, uh, so cool. the Hooters of this world? Was gonna be so jealous. Fine. I'll tell you what. You say one word about this to anybody, and I'll deflate the tires of your wheelchair. I'm in enough trouble with the cops. Fine. Oh, okay. I won't say anything. Threatened by Tex Murphy. <laughs> this is so cool. That was a there consensual threatening, I guess. Uh, either way, we've got the memory stick now. And slightly wet. We may only get one chance, Carlos, so I wanted to go over the plan one more time. If Margaret shows up at the Ritz, call me immediately. If I'm delayed, detain her. We have to assume she won't give up the egg voluntarily, but I want to talk to her first. You know why I've given you the cryo chamber. But that has to be the very last resort. And if anything happens to me, I'll need you to contact a friend of mine. Keep it safe until I retrieve it. Well, it sounds like Mason and Margaret had a major disagreement. I need to locate both of them and get to the bottom of this. I decide to head back to my office to sort things out. Hey, cowboy. Any memories coming back yet? Not so far, but something tells me I might be missing out on some really good ones. That's solid detective work. <laughs> I so, simply follow the clues. Were we dating? Dating? Oh, that's so cute. I guess you can call it that. But we were also working together in a more professional capacity. Well, now my detective skills are picking up a little sarcasm. Seriously, cowboy. I've learned a lot working with you the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've only been hanging out for a couple weeks now. Let me get this straight. Uh, you and I were working on a case together. Do you mind 
telling me about that? Not at all. You wanted a list of tenants here at the Ritz as far back as I could go. Why would I do that? It was your dreams. They were vivid before, but they were getting out of control. It's almost like they were changing you into someone else. You talked about seeing things from the past, but you wouldn't give me details. You're incredibly stressed. It was like you actually believed this apartment was haunted. You even started looking into psychometry. Psycho what? Psychometry. It's the belief that an object can contain a person's energy or memories. So, not only am I an amnesiac, but I'm a paranormal idiot. Great. Sounds crazy, I know. But then we found out about Donnelly. Who? Captain Donnelly from the war? It was the most bizarre thing. I'd heard you mention the name in your sleep. But then his name turned up when I checked out the previous tenants. So who is this guy? He's a private investigator, a real old school brute. He worked for some powerful, influential people, but then he disappeared around 1943. His last known address was here. San Francisco. No, here, at the Ritz in this exact apartment. Okay, that's a little bizarre. It gets bizarre here. You call me one night, raving like a lunatic, saying the walls were talking. I rushed over and found holes smashed in the wall, and you curled up on the floor in a ball. Well, I'm glad to hear I haven't changed that much. You wouldn't tell me what had happened. But after that, you wouldn't sleep here. That's when you got your new place and started to sleep there. I've got a new place? Hold on. I have another place. Yes, you do. And it's even nicer than here. How, I would never expect such this a thing. It's all crazy. I think I'm going to sleep here tonight just to see whether it affects me in the same way. Do you want some company? Listen, Taylor, mm. I'm beginning to see what the other me saw in you. But in my head, it's still 2043. I've got to tell you, there was somebody else. Chelsea, I know. I know how much she meant to you, Tex. Losing her was traumatic as hell for you. But she's gone. And there's nothing you can say or do or don't do that's going to bring her back. Do you feel that? I sure do. I'm alive. And that's my heart. It's yours if you want it. And it comes with all the other bits. What did I choose the first time I played this game? Did I try to stay true to Chelsea? Was I untrustworthy of Taylor? But then Taylor was on was doing so, like was uh, the lawyer before Tex had met her. We're gonna go with Taylor. Well, I think it's time for the big sleepover. I'll make popcorn. Six hours later, the rain was finally letting up. Somebody once said, you can't change the past, only the course you're on. And that's what I intend to do. It's time for me to take my ship in a new direction. Being with Taylor last night felt comfortable. She accepted me as I am. Maybe I had to accept myself in the same way. Still, I know I'm in the middle of something sinister and I've got to deal with it. I've got to find a way to get my recent memory back. Then I can go forward and start a new day. As Taylor was leaving, she slips me a key to a place called the resort and said it might provide some insights about myself over the last few years. She wasn't kidding. All right, so before we go on, um, there was the Tex Murphy Radio Theater, which is something I didn't necessarily talk about, largely because it has been a while since I have listened to it. I did listen to just a very, very small amount the other day. And that small amount just happened to be, just happened to include um, Tex having this dream um, where it, the dream occurred during uh, World War II where he was Captain Donnelly. 
So, my homework for next time is to listen to the radio theater again, um, just to see what else I had forgotten. But in the meantime, though, let us carry on and take a look around. In Texas, swank new apartment that does have a bathroom? Yes, it does. And the bathroom tub is already filled with water. That seems... And is being heated. That seems like a little bit wasteful. The Nitro Stalker case shattered. Local PI smashes killer into a thousand pieces. Dog learns to fly. Why isn't that the big news? Nitro case shattered? By Tex Murphy? When did I become an attention seeker? These watches are worth a small fortune. I'm hoping this newspaper article is not some sentimental keepsake. Foul play is suspected in suspicious death in Stockton. Police said Saturday, a man found dead about 5.15 a.m. at his home has been identified as Beak Nariz. The police have not released any further details. Huh. Looks like I like to wear sunglasses at night. Who doesn't? Really? A knife? Well, that is an intimidating knife. Little Black Book. When I think of women in my past who were black book quality, Regan Madsen from my Pandora case always comes to mind. Well, I suppose you've already sat in my chair and I've eaten my porridge, too. It took you long enough. I thought I was going to have to stir it in by myself. I hope you don't mind I made myself comfortable. Mm. And I'm very comfortable. Yeah. You look it. But how long does it take you to smoke that cigarette? Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> She's vicious, mean, nasty, and rotten to the core. And I still think fondly of her almost every day. Uh, who wanted me to call them? Maybe I should go get checked out at a medical clinic for reasons other than my head injury. Yes. No doubt. Hold on. What's written on the back of that? Uh, Roman numeral six, 16 times 9? Well, 16 times 10 would be 160, so times 9 would be 144. Is that a code for something? Tex, I know you hate Maldonado, but he has his uses. I will throw in an additional... 5k if you will work with him peaceably, Mason. I've got another job for you. Money. Absolutely half measures slayed. Black leather gloves? Really big black leather gloves or really small drawers. Either Tex has giant hands or small furniture.
Why do I have... That's... Well, I'm hoping this isn't mine. Hmm. I found a lot less than I was expecting. It kind of feels like I found nothing. Any hidden bricks? Like, I guess there's the code, maybe. Oh, that might be the code to Texas computer. All right. Let's go back to Chandler Avenue and go back to Texas office and see. Looks like Archie's back in town. I should check out his three carts to midnight shop and see if he knows anything. All right. Looks like Archie's back in town. I should check out his three carts to midnight shop and see if he knows anything. Uh, drop by three carts to midnight. I've got some exciting information about your case. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Huh. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. Nope, that's neither. Um... Well, let's see if, uh, we're going to see if Archie has something to help us out next time. For now, though, my homework is to listen to the radio theater again. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.